welcome back to my channel my name is Sophia today's video is about a fasting that pleases God a fasting that when you do or some things that when you do during your fasting time or even without fasting that attract God's mercy God's favor God's power to you I'm going to encourage you to read the book of Isaiah 58 read the entire chapter when you read chapter 6, 7, and 8, 9, chapter 7 says, When you are fasting, what you should be doing is to feed the poor, those who are hungry, those who are needy. It says, clothe those who are naked. See, this is something I'm so passionate about. That we do a lot of things, ask God for a lot of things, and we don't give anything. And we say, oh, Christ has died for our sake and the old testament is gone we don't need to sow seed we don't need to um, bless anybody just pray and god will do it the blood of jesus has set, set us free and everything is done i agree with that i'm not going to argue i think somewhere in the bible jesus said he has come not to uh, cancel the law i still pay tight I do my um, seeding, I do my donations, I do whatever I can do, whatever I can do to help, I do it. Not just because I want something from God, but because I want to build a legacy for my children. There's sometimes things that you do, I don't know whether, I know a lot of you must have heard this phrase before, the, 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 the saints of our fathers or the blessings of our fathers. You may plant something today, even if you don't, harvest it trust me it's a seed it's a legacy that will germinate that your children or your generations to come will harvest i know we live in a world that evil is the thing of the day it's so difficult and so horrible to just find a stranger on the street bring that person home to shelter them hey my dear you must be very brave to do that although the bible says we should do that we should help those who are needy and poor. We should feed those who are hungry. We should clothe those who are naked. And we should bring people home to give them shelter. But if you are so scared like me to bring somebody to your home to shelter them, if you can afford it, just give them some money. Give them a range for if you know any charitable organization, just link them up. Just connect them to where they can find shelter. You helping them. You will get your blessings from that. And when you reach chapter 8 and 9, it says, when you do this, your healing will come speedily. Righteousness will follow you. Blessings will follow you. So whatever you do in life, believe me or not, it carries so much blessing. When you do good in life, it carries a lot of blessing. There is much blessing in giving than receiving. I know we are in the in the festive season, but a lot of people are doing their end of year fast. And two weeks from now, or three weeks, maximum three weeks from now, people are going to start doing their um, Daniel's fast, which is very important for uh, most Christians to do, uh, do it a lot. And people are going to start doing Daniel's fast. They're going to say, oh, I've done Daniel, it didn't work. I've done three days fast, it didn't work. I've done four days fast, it didn't work. But what did you use as a point of contact? Did you sow a seed? Put something on the ground. I believe nothing is for free, you know. You need to put um, something on the hook to catch a fish from a river. That is my personal belief. I, I, I'm fine if you disagree with me. I always do that. I put something in for something. I always put something on the altar of God to take something from God. I know you're going to say, oh, Christ was buried and uh, Christ has um, died for us for our redemption for our sakes for our salvation for our breakthroughs for our deliverance our everything our abundance but I still believe strongly in the Old Testament I do that I do I, I put something on as a sacrifice God this is what I sacrifice for you this is what I put on your altar for you father for your mercy I have done this Lord have mercy I know a lot of people don't do that these days and I know people who do it because they also believe that whatever you put on the altar of God would not come in vain. It would not be in vain. So whilst we are in the festive season, fasting, praying, please focus on the fast that pleases God. Isaiah 58 
read the whole chapter so you can have a clear understanding of what I'm trying to say. Just do that. Don't just do it once, twice, and if it doesn't happen, so oh, it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Please, it works. Just be patient. Keep doing it. Keep praying. Keep looking out to God. Like I said in my previous video, if you pray, have faith that you're going to receive your answer and you will receive your answer. So long as you did it wholly from your heart, you do not have any bitterness because bitterness blocks our blessing. You do not have any bitterness in your heart. You do not have any, some kind of grudge against anyone. Your heart is so free. Trust me, when you do these things, it will, it will bring blessings. It will, uh, sorry, it will bring blessings. <laughs> My English is not flowing anymore. <laughs> it will bring blessings to you, right? I know a man in Ghana. He loves giving to churches a lot. Trust me, he has about 10 kids. And none of his, ch his children is, is, is a bastard. None of his children is a waste of space. His children are well-to-do. None of them is, is, is below class. No, they're all above, above standard. They're all worthy to do. They're all rich. Let me put it straightforward. His children are always rich because he has plant, sown a seed in the house of God. When you sow a seed in the house of God, there is always fruit. There is always abundance. There is always harvest. If, if you have anything, just I said, I keep saying this every time. There is a poor person anywhere and everywhere you live. There is somebody struggling that you know or you may not know. Your inner circle, somebody may need help. Whatever you have, just give it wholeheartedly. And I said, God, as I have given, Lord, have mercy on me. Father, you said you... you you take pleasure in giving than receiving. You said we should give and it will come back to us. Good measure, pressed down, shaking together, running over. Father, I have given or I have given solely from my heart. Lord, have mercy and answer me. Lord, have mercy. Turn my situations, situations around. Lord, have mercy. Let my healing come. Let my progress come. Let my favor come. Let my glory come. Guys, just keep doing it that way. And you see the hand of God moving. When you do it, expect it that your blessings are coming. Expect it that your healing is coming. Expect it that it will come. And it will come to you. Guys, please, if you enjoy my videos, don't keep it to yourself. Share it with somebody. Somebody may like it. Say, okay, this, this woman is doing really well. I'd like to support her. And they will also subscribe to the channel. They will also like and share. Let's do that. At least I'm challenging you. Share this video to at least two people. Just two people. I'm not asking for too much. Just two people. Share this video to two people. And let's see what the Lord does for you. Shalom. See you in the next video.